Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Tier of Vermilion. Last time we made it over to Tibri Village, but it's been taken over by the uh, Sign Seal Gang. So I made it my way back to Filden, and I'm going to inform the guild leader of this uh, turn of events. Yeah. Oh, so what can we do? Okay, just help with the king's army? I could do that. Pursue further learning? I guess he means, you know, gather intelligence or something. So, they don't want, like, money for ransom or anything. They want something called the Book of Life. So, Marty thought that maybe they might have the book here in the library. So, let's go on side and see if they can't help us out. Give us this book. Yeah, there's stacks of them all over the place. Hmm, I don't know. That's a pretty good question. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, do we have to use, like, the card catalog system or something? I mean, like, I grew up in a time before computers, and I had to deal with, you know, the Dewey Decibel system, the card catalogs, and all that kind of stuff. It's not that difficult, but, like, compared to computers, it's so difficult to find a book. And honestly, if I had to go back to, you know, finding the book whenever I had to in middle school, I don't know if I could do it anymore. <laughs> I mean, like, it's really not that much of an issue. I mean, I know that each um, each number, like, corresponds to a different um, category. Like, you know, 100 might be philosophy, 200 might be cooking, 300 might be encyclopedias, so on and so forth. And then from there, you go and you find your book, you know, alphabetically, or you look it up in the, you know, the card catalog thing. It's not that hard, but, I mean... You know, nowadays you could just type it into a search engine and boom, it pops right up. So, yeah. Oh, okay, so... Something about Durga is documented inside this Book of Life. Oh, but it was lost, so we don't have it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Cathedral was attacked and probably burned to the ground, so... Yeah, they don't have one either. So, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna to, uh, save the village of Tibri? Uh, yeah, no kidding. Oh! Huh. So, only, you know, people of high in intelligence know about this book? Oh, yeah, I wonder if it has some sort of magical power or something. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure this one out. But, we can't get the book, so what are we gonna do? Uh, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. You know, Miles is a lot smarter than he looks, I've got to say. Ah, okay, so we're just going to try to uh, fake him out. Yeah, I mean, all we need is just a little bit to um, kind of fool them while we work to rescue the hostages. I mean, if they can't read it anyway, what does it matter? We just need some old book. Some ratty little moth-eating piece of crap. Hey, awesome! Well, that worked out pretty nicely. Also, I want to talk about this um, a little bit, and um, basically it's the settings on the emulator. There are two major settings that I can use. One allows the dungeons to work properly, showing the lighting and showing the monsters and, you know, the pet properly. However, it causes screen flickering all the time. It's like the Popa LaCroix problem. The other setting makes the dungeons really dark, but there's no screen flickering. So I'm probably going to do some sort of compromise and um, try my best using it and uh, see what happens. But honestly, I want to err on the side of no screen flickering. That shit drives me nuts! So yeah, if I have to go through some dark dungeons with weird gimp-ass enemies, then you know that's what I gotta do. Also, while I was here in town, I upgraded a little bit of my equipment. Basically, I bought Miles of Chakram, and I bought that because if I bought the Long Boomerang, which has one more point of attack power, I couldn't equip the Light Shield. As for Marty and Muse, I didn't change their equipment at all, but I gave them the leather boots that I stole uh, from that bird on the high road. Also, I gave Muse's leather armor over to Mile, and I gave Muse Miles's cloth armor. So that's what my setup looks like. And with that, let's head on out of the village. Go over to Tibri and save him. Seriously? Oh my god, if it's not one thing, it's another. 
I got the damn book of life, or at least the soap opera. <laughs> I got the All My Children book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very upset that that show's off the air. You know, Oprah tried to bring it back onto her network, but, um, they said no. I guess the actors and actresses didn't want to do it anymore, or, you know, they figured they couldn't make enough money on the Oprah network rather than they could make on ABC. My mother's really upset about it, too. She's been watching all my children since, like, the 1970s. So, I switched over to Young and the Restless. It's pretty good. I've been watching it for about, eh, ten years now. <laughs> Oh, but I'm sure none of you watch soap operas. Yeah, I seem to talk about stuff that nobody else watches. <laughs> oh my god, I think that there was this one video in Trails of Cold Steel I was talking about flower arranging that I watched on Martha Stewart or something. <laughs> I mean, how, how this stuff pops up and how I go on about it. I mean, my god. Okay, so... Apparently, uh... Muse said that she's somebody mysterious. Hmm, I wonder who she could possibly be. If you watched the bonus episode last time, I'm sure you figured it out. I mean, the translation's so bad, she pretty much flat out said exactly who she was at one point. But anyway, with that, and with Muse letting us know, um, well, not really letting us know who she is, but letting the soldier know who she is, we can head off to Tibri Village, and I'll meet you there. Okay, here I am, right outside of the, uh, village. And yeah, we got the book. So, can we go on in and, uh, give him the book in exchange for the hostages? Oh, you know who she is. Princess Mildeen? I totally didn't see that one coming! Yeah. <laughs> this game isn't very subtle, is it? Oh, the first princess. Mildeen Uriel Sylvania Esmalis? I'm going to go with that pronunciation. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, we're just going to call him Muse from now on anyway. Oh, it's an acronym of your real name, huh? Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess it is. Hmm. He seems to get pretty angry himself. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so I guess she escaped from the castle. That's what she was doing in the underground waterway. And I'm assuming that the people who are after her were the guards or, you know, her ladies-in-waiting or somebody just trying to, you know, bring her back to the castle. And she's the tomboy princess who wants to, you know, explore the kingdom. I've played this JRPG before. Uh, yeah, we've really got to rescue these people and deal with this gang. Um, screw you, General. We saved her ass on multiple occasions. <laughs> yeah, don't underestimate Avon's temper. He's gonna go off on you. Um, but apparently he has a pretty bad temper, too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, not really to scold Muse. It's really more about, you know, saving and helping people. I really like how Musa puts him in his place. Yeah, more than likely. Oh, okay, so she's not going to be a party much longer. I guess after uh, this little adventure here in Tiberi, General Deeron's going to uh, go ahead and uh, bring her back to the castle. Oh, yeah. If we try to uh, attack their little group, they may hurt the hostages. Okay, so they're on the northwestern side of the village, and they'll burn the house to the ground if you go in. That's just lovely. Hmm, so why can't we do that now? That seems like a pretty decent plan. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just get some archers up there or something and, you know, take them out with snipers? So, the renowned military general, with like 50 plus years of experience, can't think of a plan, but even who's been doing this for, you know, a hot minute, he's got a plan, no problem! Hmm. Well, we'll just have to take that chance. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, and we have that book of life. Or the bonds of life. 
Okay. So, are you going to be their bait? Yeah, that really is what royalty is supposed to do, you know, lead the people. Hmm, that's pretty dangerous, though. I'd kind of rather the general and his guards go. Okay, so General Darren's going to contact the enemy leader, and you guys are going to do a sneak attack and free those sausages. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, let's get this show on the road! Let's do this! Well, there they all are. Where are all your guards? Are you going in alone? You're going alone to confront the enemy who has all of her little henchmen with her. Like, what if they, you know, attack you? What if they kill you? What if they just take the book and say, screw you and stab you and then burn the, down the house anyway? I wouldn't go with them if I were you. Where are your guards? What are your guards doing? They're just standing there? Ugh, this makes no sense. They should all go in as a group. All the king's army should be together. Sherla? Is that you? No, this is Fatima. Huh. Yeah, they were going all up the uh, Zaziki Mountain Path looking for them earlier. Yeah, it's misinformation. This isn't, you know, a new strategy or anything. Oh, and who are you? Yeah, this girl over there in the left-hand corner. Huh. What's she gonna do to her? Okay. What's wrong with you? You look high. What's going on? Bloodless villains. Ugh. Is this girl, like, crazy? What's wrong with you? Is she, like, mental? Uh, and she has a unique character portrait. That's just lovely. We're gonna have to deal with her even more. Yeah. She looks really, really stupid. I can't wait for this girl to have more screen time. Ugh. Screw the girl! She's, like, retarded! No one cares about her! Um, they kind of do have the upper hand, you know? Just, why don't you just do an even trade? You get the book, and then we'll get the girl. It'll be fine. But that would make way too much sense. Don't you think that they would, like, hear Avon battering ramming down the door? Well, whose life? Are you talking about the hostage's life? The girl's life? Deeran's life? Oh, everybody's life! Huh, so what do you want to do? What's your plan? How is the Book of Life going to help you become bigger than some gang? Oh, lovely. Okay, so that girl's name is Shannon. Hmm. Whoa, yikes! Yeah, I totally didn't see that coming! The gang members double-crossed them! You moron, you should've brought your detachment of guards. How stupid are you? Some general you are. You have all these years of experience, and you couldn't come up with a plan, and you didn't at least bring, like, one bodyguard with you? Are you kidding? Oh, great. So she can read the, uh, ancient runic script? This is just lovely. Yeah, uh, actually, we kind of didn't think that you could read the book. We just thought you were some stupid-ass gang members. Hmm. I say just leave him alone. The girl will be fine. She's not a big loss anyway. I mean, like, the whole balance of the world isn't hanging on her so shoulders, is it? Huh. <laughs> no, couldn't possibly. Uh-oh. Yikes, are they gonna hang him or burn him at the stake? Whoa! Hey! We've been rescued just in time. Uh, we kicked all their asses, too. Oh. I guess he was, like, stabbed in the side or something. 
Oh. Hmm. So, you didn't figure that one out? So you were able to figure out everything else, take multiple hostages, read the Book of Life, but you couldn't figure out that he was the bait? Oh, shit, they took the girl with them! You're... You're an idiot! Oh, shut up! I really don't even want to rescue you. I want Fatima to kill her. I'm so over her already. God, she's got like four lines and I'm already done with her. Ugh. Oh no! A girl was taking! Can't have that! Stop everything! A girl's in danger! Uh. Yeah, more than likely it is their hideout. Uh, again, do not care! You know, she's just collateral damage. If she gets killed, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, uh, we're adventurers with five minutes of experience. You guys are army soldiers with decades of experience, but leave it to us. We got this. It'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't possibly leave it to the soldiers and their guards. So let's go around and explore this village. Nobody's in here. A lot of these houses are empty right now. Oh, there's somebody in here. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Oh, okay. So then they are definitely going over to that cave. Yeah. So I guess that's where we need to go to next. But, you know, we're now in Tibri Village. And we still need to meet that sage Dinkerkin. And he's through those prayer woods. But the Zaziki Cave is the total opposite way from the prayer woods. So, I say, screw that. I just want to go. Let's get on out of here. Yeah, there's the sage's mansion. Let's go. Um, again, I don't care. But, yeah, we have to. We can't just skip this. That would be kind of nice if we could, though. Oh. Huh. Yeah, what is it about, like, little five-year-old boys always wanting to go and save the world? If it's not, like, an RPG where you actually control the five-year-old boy going out and saving the world, they're all over the place in every single town. So, yeah. Miles seems pretty good with kids. I like him. He's a nice guy. Let's see, have I talked to you yet? I don't... I think I did. Did I talk to you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh, okay. Maybe I already did talk to her and that was like secondary dialogue. I'm not sure. So here we have our little item shop. They don't sell any more um, weapons and armor, but they sell various items. Plus these uh, accessories, which could come in handy, but I have leather boots for everybody. Um, so that's the main thing that I'm going to focus on. And as far as these charms, they suck! Don't even worry about them. And also another thing to don't worry about, pet food. Pet food is awful in this game. Don't even worry about it. Your pet will go in and randomly attack during battle anyway. Depending on its mood, it'll like, you know, shoot fireballs. It'll drop, you know, a rock on top of everybody. It'll do all sorts of uh, different things. It'll raise your defense, raise your speed, heal you. Um, but pet food has no bearing on that. All it does is change its mood. And I really don't care about that. So completely ignore pet food in this game. It has no purpose, unlike in a Moonlight Witch, where it actually, you know, forced the pet to um, attack the following battle. It doesn't do anything like that in this game. At least not that I'm aware of, but I completely ignore pet food. So, next time on Let's Play Lift of Heroes, a tier of Vermillion, we're going to uh, continue on after the Slime Seal Gang. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.